You are welcome to our class today. Uh, we are going to begin with the unit six, leaving planets, leaving planets. This is the first, uh, the first lesson in this unit. And what we are going to do now, we have a new vocabulary related to this unit. And this new vocabularies including the basic here the basic the title of the basic here is magma life as we know it magma life as we know it it is in your book page number 69 70 and 71 so please i want you to listen into the unit six this words living planet unit opener luminous word focus magma microbe photosynthesis byproduct molten Oxidation, reading, spark, formation, harness, consist of, composition, trigger, iron, ferrous, ferric, version, coincidental, Subject two, turmoil, greenhouse gas, chain of events, endure, shift, emerge, thrive, ozone layer, shield, solar radiation, emit, spew, element, Unit six, living planet, unit opener, luminous, word focus, magma, microbe, photosynthesis, byproduct, molten, oxidation, reading, spark, Formation, harness, consist of, composition, trigger, iron, ferrous, ferric, version, coincidental, subject to, turmoil, greenhouse gas, Chain of events, endure, shift, emerge, thrive, ozone layer, shield, solar radiation, emit, spew, element. Unit 6, living planet. So if we are going to explain the meaning of these words here, you can say magma is the hot liquid rock below the earth's surface. Microbe is a tiny living things that you can see with microscope. The photosynthesis is the process in a plant where carbon dioxide and water are turned into food using the sun's energy. Byproduct is a substance produced during the process of making or destroying something else. Molten in a, a is you can say metal or rock that is a, in a liquid state due to high temperature oxidation means the process of substances combinations with oxygen spark is caused to start formations is shaving harness means control and use the power of something consists of means made p made of composition the way something is made treasure is caused to start iron a dark red 
uh, a dark red or brown mineral. Ferrous means containing iron. Ferric is containing iron also. And virgin is a type of something. Coincidental, it is happening by ch chance. Subject, cause to experience turmoil, great trouble and confusion. Greenhouse gas is a gas. Watch causes the greenhouse effort uh, or the greenhouse effect. Chain of events means things happening one after another and you know continue to exist through something difficult it is called endure endure shift is a change emerge is come out thrive is grow grow or do well ozone layer is a layer of gases in the atmosphere that prevents harmful radiation from the sun from re reaching the earth shield is the protection solar radiation is the heat and the energy from the sun if it is sent out Spool is the throw out in large omits amount. Sorry, uh, elements or element is a substance that consists of atoms of only one type. These are the new vocabularies here. You have the basic here, uh, and this basic beginning with can earth support oxygen breathing life due to changing to the plant's magma 2.5 million years ago. To uh, geologists believe so. It is in page number 70 and the page number, uh, you know, 71. Uh, this basic talks about the planets. Uh, and as you know that, uh, that our uh, planets here has seen some amazing changes. Among these uh, changes also, among these changes also, uh, you can uh was the formation of the world uh all the stroke forms around the 3.95 uh, billion so i want you to read this vocabulary very well and to read the passing then we have one example here of one exercise that is very important related to this passing i want you to remember that in missing paragraph tasks you don't need to understand the individual words or uh, you can say specific uh, specific ideas Instead, it is important to understand the structure of the texts and how one idea flows on from the previous one. And uh, so, the, for example, the first time here, a person, a person is mentioned in a text. He or she is usually referred to using their full name and title. And any following references to the same person may use only the person's first or last name this could be crucial and could be helping uh, you it will help you uh, decide where to place missing paragraph this is very important so you are going to read that extract from a magazine here also article about the earth five paragraphs have been removed from the extracts it choose from the paragraph a to g the one which is the best fits each gap. There are two extra paragraphs which you don't need to use. Here you can say in paragraph A, it is a prober. Paragraph A is a prober with, uh, you know, uh, is a prober, is, is uh, deleted. Don't mention it. Paragraph B is prober with five. But a, paragraph C is a prober with number A is a prober with number two also. Paragraph E is a proper with number three. Paragraph F is a proper with number one. And paragraph B is a proper with number five. Paragraph D is a proper with number four. These are everything here. I want you to focus on these vocabularies, which we explained now their, uh, with their meanings and to read the passage very well and to know the meanings through what we are explaining. Here we have also some definitions in the same page. It is in page number 71. This uh, you know, expression, these definitions, like endure, what does it mean? He wants you here to read the definitions of these words in page number 71, exercise number D. He wants you to read these definitions and to fill the gaps. And to, you can say, match the definitions with these words. Like endure, what does it mean? To suffer and deal with something painful or unpleasant. And thrives to become stronger and healthier. Spoo to flow out quickly in large amounts. Treasure to cause something to happen. 
uh, aim it to spend to send or give out something harness harness means to control and use the focus or the force of something consume to use or get something observe to take something in so this exercise we answered it now you can only fill the gaps here according to what, what we are uh, you know talking about now and what we are explaining now means the definitions of these words you have in the workbook page number 42 uh, homework please read it answer it about the same issue and read the basic very well thank you and have a nice day